Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll show how to install the extensional viscosity accessory on a DHR and mount a sample. The elongational viscosity can be used to interrogate the molecular structure of polymers. Strain hardening correlates with branching in the polymer. This hardening is typically not easily observed in shear and capillary rheometry. Branching, elongational viscosity, and strain hardening impact processes such as blow molding, film blowing, and coating. The accessory can also be used for tear, peel, and fracture testing. These are the parts of the extensional viscosity accessory. The drive shaft and connection joint, mounting bracket, sample drums and clips, smart swap plug. There is no lower part of the geometry to mount on the magnetic base. Remove any existing fixtures from the base by pressing the geometry swap button on the front of the instrument to release the magnet. Install the drive shaft onto the rheometer using the standard draw rod. Line up the EVA assembly with the drive shaft and slide the EVA assembly over the drive shaft. The mark on the EVA assembly can be lined up with the mark on the front of the rheometer if not using the ETC camera. If the ETC camera will be used, rotate the geometry so that the mark is facing the back right of the instrument. This will ensure that the sample faces the camera. Spin the drive shaft using the upper end of the draw rod until the drive shaft end is engaged with the drive and bushing inside the transfer case. Check that the sample drum spin freely when turning the shaft and that the mounting bracket sits flush against the instrument. Secure the EVA mounting bracket to the rheometer using the three screws. Install the two half-disc ceramic pieces to block the ETC at the bottom. Lower the instrument head so that the drums are close to the vertical center of the ETC. Rotate the drums, lock the motor, and insert the clips. The drums can be removed for cleaning using the drum mounting fixture and the hex key. Roughened or knurled drums are also available. Install the smart swap plug. If the geometry is not already set up in trios, select Add New Geometry. Next. Essential fixture. Give typical values for your sample, for example, 10 by 1 millimeters. The drum diameter can be left at the default value. Select the drum type, name the fixture, and add any notes. Click Next and Finish. The following test should be prepared before the sample is loaded. Set the test mode to Unlimited in the ribbon. The test type is an other extensional. The inherit set point box should be checked and the wait for temperature box should be unchecked. Set a soak time so the sample has enough time to reach thermal equilibrium but does not sag or creep due to gravity. The user should start with 20 seconds. The ETC camera is particularly useful for this purpose. The solid and melt densities of the material are used to calculate the pre-stretched step strain. The strain rate should be selected to be much lower than the experimental strain rate and should take approximately 10 seconds. The relaxation after pre-stretch time should be set so the sample relaxes fully before the extensional experiment starts. Less than 30 seconds is typical. Set the desired final strain or time and the desired extensional rate. Final strain of 4 or less is recommended. Set the extensional rate of interest. Set the data sampling settings. Choose the post-test relaxation if desired. Finally, measure the sample with calipers and input the measurements in the geometry tab. 
approximately 1 by 10 by 18 mm samples work well with the EVA. Samples should be uniform and not have any bubbles or voids. Heat the oven and geometry to the desired test temperature and allow it to soak for several minutes. It may be helpful to lock the motor prior to the next step. Load the sample quickly in the case that the sample has a low melt viscosity at the desired test temperature. Thread the sample through the loose clips and close the clips just enough to touch the sample. Do not compress the sample. Close the oven and begin the test immediately. In this tech tip we covered installing the extensional viscosity accessory on the DHR. Please subscribe for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.